Hey, what's up everybody? Anthony Sevens here for another II Arcade game review. And today we're gonna to be talking about 2021's Rangok Skies. Let's rock and roll. Ignition sequence starts. So Rangok Skies is a modern day shooter done with a very classic uh, arcade shooter vibe. So if you've played arcade shooters before where it's, you know, this, this vertical uh, scrolling essence uh, where basically the whole point is to stay alive as long as you can. You're dodging bullets and missiles and bombs while trying to defeat the enemies and stay alive as long as you possibly can. Uh, I love that you have uh, four buttons to use in this game. You've got a turbo button, you've got a, a laser button, you've got a bombs button, you've got a special attacks button. So, I mean, as you can see, just looking at the screen right here, there's tons of stuff happening in this game. It is uh, arcade shooter mayhem to the finest degree. But the one thing I really love about this game the most is that there is actually an end to it. It's not one of those where you can just keep continuing, continuing, continuing until the end of time. You actually get, you know, a, a few lives. So it's kind of like once you start the game and you're just, you get right into it from the moment you start the game. It's just bullets and lasers just flying everywhere. Um, uh, but you die, you come back, you die, you come back, and after uh, several tries, that actually goes, it says, game over. So I really, really love that. There's always a replay value to this game where you can keep coming back to it and say, I'm gonna try to beat my high score. There's actually one gentleman that's on the leaderboards that somehow made it through this entire game without getting, without dying, and wound up getting like this super, badass master's ranking level and he's like the only person on there uh, corrupt neuron is in the terminators category for that and then you have the masters category then you have the heroes category it's kind of going down and then you have the babies category which i don't care for that name the babies but you know if you can make any of those lists it means you're doing pretty good on this game but it, it definitely it does have a replay value, a replay challenge value to not only beat your own high score, but to, to try to get on the leaderboard somehow. But you know, there's, there's so much stuff happening on this screen at any and all times. And the one thing that I have to say that might be a negative is that there's so many bullets and bombs and lasers and even power-ups flying at you throughout the entire time. It's almost difficult to decipher you know, what am I trying to dodge here, you know? And, and if you've played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially when you first start playing. You're trying to like, what am I dodging? Am I dodging the, the, the big missiles, the little missiles? It seems like there are some items that you don't get hit by and other items where you do get hit by. So it's like super easy to die. And how, um, you know, how that dude wound up getting through this whole entire game without dying is, a concept beyond me, arcade genius. The word arcade genius comes to mind. Cause I'm about to show you some gameplay on this so you see exactly what I mean. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so here we go, getting into the game. Um, another thing is, you know, this is such a modern game. Red Gox Skies. So, such a modern game. You don't, uh, you don't have to put any coins in the machine. It's just a free play. So you just go to Game Start, or you can go to Practice Mode if you want. Solo Mode. Uh, if you go to Co-op Mode, you actually don't get any uh, content. Nothing gets unlocked. So Solo Mode. Uh, solo Mode is the way to go on this. Please select. So you have a few uh, different characters to choose from, and uh, unlockable characters. We're just gonna go with Astra. Astra. And here we go. 
It does teach you how to play if you want. You can skip over that, which is what I'm doing right now. And let's go into the chaos. Here we go. Stage one. Star Trek alarm. <laughs> From this screen, you can continue. Okay. So that's life number one. And that was the entirety of level one for you. And then you just keep on going and there's a new boss at the end of every level. So, I mean, what I, I really like is that there's constantly power-ups and reloading your bombs and reloading your special moves, which is super cool. And I like how uh, some of the icons that you do collect actually uh, like magnetically gravitate towards you. So you don't have to always worry about dropping under every single thing that, uh, that you collect. Um, but, you know, it, it is very, very challenging. As you can tell from all of the, the chaos that's on there. Oh, hold on, let me just ah, go through that real quick. I didn't score anything here. <laughs> you need to put your name in, enter it, and then hopefully you can get to the leaderboards uh, when, you're, when you're done with it. But anyways, yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a cool game. I, I really like it. But as you can see, it's just super, super easy to die. And how somebody can make it through this game without losing a single life uh, is just beyond comprehension to me. And who knows? Maybe I'll get there someday. Maybe I'll get there. But I think I'll just be happy getting on any leaderboard at this point in time with the game as intense as this is. 
but I love the graphics. You know, it's it, again, it, it's a game that came out in 2021, so it's not necessarily a game that needs any kind of scan lines to give it an old school feel. It's very modern. It's it, the colors are vibrant. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful game to look at, even like having it in uh, in demonstration mode. It's just a, a fantastic game uh, to look at, and it, it's really intense to play. And you know, you, you, you're moving around so much and so quickly. Um, yeah, it, I definitely highly, highly recommend this game if you're into uh, classic arcade shooters or just arcade shooters in general. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm going to give this game a solid 8.5. I love it. It's fantastic in almost every way, except it's just, it, you know, it has that, that difficulty, that, that challenge, where it's, it's just kind of confusing, and you're like, you know, again, you don't know, what, what am I supposed to dodge here? Why am I getting hit by some bullets and lasers and not getting hit by other bullets and lasers? Uh, some of it kind of doesn't make sense, but... It is super fun. It will hold your attention, and you will constantly go back to this game to replay it to try to get on the leaderboard to get the high score. But that's all I got for you today. Rangox Skies 2021 on II Arcade. Until we meet again, take care of yourself and take care of each other.